Ladies and gentlemen, the University Marshal, Dr. Robert J. Bailey, has entered the Convocation Center.
to open officially the December 2005 commencement ceremony of the University of Texas at San Antonio. Will the university marshal bearing the mace and the faculty marshal conveying the banner for the College of Education and Human Development please come forward to position the mace and to post the banner. The UTSA faculty, university administrators and staff, and our community of UTSA graduates welcome you, our guests, to the UTSA commencement. We'll all please rise for the singing of the national anthem led by UTSA soprano Dianita Diaz and the posting of the colors by the UTSA Air Force ROTC Honor Guard. Please be seated.
It is now my pleasure to introduce members of the stage party whom I will ask to stand and be recognized. I ask you to hold your applause until all members of the stage party have been introduced. Dr. Ricardo Romo, President of the University of Texas at San Antonio. Dr. Raymond A. Paredes, Commissioner, Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board, who will present our commencement address later in the program. Dr. Rosalie Nan Ambrosino, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Sonia V. Martinez, Vice President for University Advancement. Dr. Jesse T. Zapata, Vice Provost, Downtown Campus. Dr. Dorothy A. Flanagan, Dean of Graduate Studies. Dr. Richard A. Diem, Dean of the Honors College. Dr. Betty M. Merchant, Dean of the College of Education and Human Development. Dr. Robert J. Bailey, Professor of Bicultural Bilingual Studies and University Marshal. Dr. Carolyn Kessler, Professor Emeritus, Bicultural Bilingual Studies, representing the faculty of the College of Education and Human Development. Dr. Juliette L. Langman, Associate Professor of Bicultural Bilingual Studies, representing the faculty of the College of Education and Human Development, and Major Professor of PhD candidate Holly Harper Hanson Thomas. Dr. Raymond V. Padilla, Professor of Educational Leadership and Policy Studies, representing the faculty of the College of Education and Human Development and major professor of doctoral candidate Kimberly Stinson Barker. Dr. Alan R. Shoho, associate professor of educational leadership and policy studies representing the faculty of the College of Education and Human Development and major professor of doctoral candidate Jerry Wayne Woods. Dr. Paige A. Smith, assistant professor of educational leadership and policy studies representing the faculty of the College of Education and Human Development and major professor of doctoral candidate Carl Stephen Scarborough. Dr. Carmen H. Fees, assistant professor of interdisciplinary learning and teaching representing the Honors College. The Honorable Linda C. Montgomery, president of the UTSA Alumni Association and I am Professor Felix Almaraz in history serving as master of ceremonies. Please join me now in welcoming the members of our stage party. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and you may be seated. Mr. President, it is a distinct honor and high personal privilege to inform you that the academic community is assembled before us. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the University of Texas at San Antonio, Dr. Ricardo Romo. Thank you, uh, Professor Almaraz. Well, a day has finally arrived. I think it's an exciting day for all of you. There's probably some sentiments. We made it. Let me uh, start off by saying good morning to everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2005 commencement ceremonies at the University of Texas at San Antonio. Today, we'll honor students earning degrees in August and December from the College of Education and Human Development. It's a distinct privilege to celebrate this occasion with you and your families. A great university is about individuals, individuals like each one of you. Why is UTSA so often regarded as a fastest growing first choice institution? It's because of you, you the students, our faculty, our staff, our parents, community. And that's the reason I love coming to work every day. It's the reason I love being part of this team. And each member of our team can be proud of this graduating class. We should all be proud of the accomplishments and achievements that are making UTSA one of the state's next premier research universities. Due to the accomplishments of our state's premier education, Department of Education, Program of Education, our College of Education became a full member in the University Council for Educational Administration this past November. And in the past year, we began offering a doctor degree in counselor education and supervision. Soon, we hope to offer a master's degree in educational leadership and policy studies with concentration in K-12 administration and higher education, student affairs administration. 
One of our College of Education professors, Misty Sailors, is working with rural classroom teachers in South Africa to address HIV AIDS issues and is developing math, science, and health learning materials for children there. UTSA is not only improving the lives of Texas, but it's also improving the lives of people around the world. Our ATEP program is working with local communities to stem the shortage of math and science teachers in our schools. They're out there in the community mentoring young students and their teachers. Our Honors College had five students accepted into the prestigious Archer Center Fellowship Program in Washington, D.C., the first UTSA students to travel east as part of this exciting program. And this weekend, UTSA is hosting the National Championship in Volleyball. As one of our undergraduates, indeed, one of our undergraduates recently earned a spot on the college edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I think all of us want to be a millionaire. He got to be the select one to be cited. UTSA's greatness, your greatness, is reflected in all these things we're accomplishing together. It's reflected both in our graduates and the faculty who have prepared you for your futures. With that in mind, let me ask the UTSA faculty to please stand up and let's uh, recognize our faculty. Will you all please stand? Let's give them a hand. <clears throat> Thank you. And let me thank our faculty for doing a great job. I'm proud of what you all are doing here at UTSA. This commencement also honors the families and friends who have been most than, more than just spectators in this whole accomplishment. They've been active participants in these graduate achievements through their patience, their encouragement, and sacrifices. We wish to publicly recognize and thank you for the role that you have played. Well, the parents, let me, we're going to have a little process here. You're going to enjoy this. First, I'd like to ask the parents of these wonderful graduates, these brilliant students, to stand up. Parents. <clears throat> All right. Stay where you are. Don't move. You've got a few more minutes to recognize these graduates. Keep standing. And let's, uh, let's ask now the spouses, husbands and wives, and children to join the parents. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we got a whole bunch of folks, including grandparents, grandchildren, aunts, uncles, cousins, godparents, neighbors, debt collectors, all of these folks. Please stand. Wonderful. Uh-oh. We have some people that didn't stand over here. What did we miss, all right? They're probably here for a basketball game. All right, well, I hope that this is a, uh, no doubt, you can see from the enthusiasm of the uh, spectators and the audience that they're very proud of you, as they well should be. It's a very special day for you. It's a great day for you because all sorts of doors are opening to you. And I hope as you pass through these doors that you'll remember UTSA and that you'll remember the UTSA days with fond memories. Look ahead with hope. The road is open and the possibilities are endless. But regardless of your path, I hope that we have lit a fire in you to succeed in whatever you're going to do after leaving UTSA. As you pursue personal success and achievements, I also hope you continue your relationship with UTSA, whether it's through volunteer work, the Alumni Association, or your career success, you're always important to UTSA. What we are, what we become, you're a part of this place. Take pride in this university and its accomplishments. They are also your accomplishments. Graduates, again, I offer my sincere congratulations to you, and I wish you much success. Thank you. Let's hear it for the graduates. Thank you, President Romo. Linda Collins Montgomery received her bachelor's degree in political science from UTSA in 1987. She is president of JLM Marketing. Ms. Linda has been actively involved in various civic and community activities. Some of those activities include the American Cancer Society and the March of Dimes. 
She has the distinction of being one of the charter members of the San Antonio Rotary Club at the Dominion. Ms. Linda is former vice president of the largest Republican women's club in Texas. She became the 26th president of the Alumni Association last year. And prior to assuming that post, she served one term on the board of directors and chaired the Alumni Association Gala in 2001. Ms. Linda is a life member of the Alumni Association. She and her husband, Jim, have a blended family with three daughters, a son, and three grandchildren. Ms. Montgomery will now greet the December graduating class on behalf of the Alumni Association. On behalf of the Alumni Association's Board of Directors, I would like to be the first to welcome you to the UTSA alumni family of over 60,000 graduates. As president of the association, it's my privilege to be a part of this ceremony, adding my words of congratulations to those you are hearing today from faculty, family, and friends. I would also like to note that as the proud mother of four teachers who are all gainfully employed, this particular ceremony is especially meaningful to me. Although you are graduating today, you are by no means through with your education. Some of you will continue your education with postgraduate studies. Others will continue their education at the University of the Real World. Whatever course your future takes, it is my sincere hope that, like me, you will look back on your years at UTSA and feel that your experiences while here have prepared you to meet and overcome any challenges that come your way. The UTSA Alumni Association exists to promote and serve the university and its alumni. And in that respect, I would ask that you allow your alumni association to serve as a source of information and inspiration. We have many successful alumni who are more than willing to share their experiences with you. Visit our website and see the many services that the association offers to assist you as you start your life after UTSA. We have career assistance, we have mentorship program, we offer life, auto, health insurance, and even debt consolidation services. Feel free to attend one of our Connections breakfasts. They are held quarterly. These breakfasts allow our alumni to keep up with current events while making important networking connections. Events such as our Rising Star Gala, Homecoming Week, and Diploma Dash give you the opportunity to see classmates, visit favorite professors, and renew friendships. Even if you choose not to become a member of the association at this time, please keep in touch. For just as your life is different today from what it was when you first started college, circumstances do change, and your alumni association will be here whenever you need us. Please remember to give special thanks to the people who have helped you along the way. Remember to UTSA, and as your time and means allow, give back to your university. Your contributions of time and energy are very valuable. As Winston Churchill once said, we make a living by what we get, we make a life by what we give. In keeping with tradition, those of you who have purchased UTSA rings will be asked to turn your rings around at the conclusion of today's ceremony, signifying that you have received your degree. Once again, I'd like to say congratulations to the graduates and to their families. Thank you, Ms. Montgomery. President Romo will now introduce our distinguished speaker for this ceremony.
It gives me great pleasure to introduce Dr. Raymond Paredes, Commissioner of the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board, which provides higher education planning to the legislature. Dr. Paredes has a long history of educational involvement. Before being appointed as Commissioner of the state's Higher Education Coordinating Board, he was Vice President for Programs at the Hispanic Scholarship Fund and Director for Creativity and Culture at the Rockefeller Foundation, where he managed a budget of more than $20 million and awarded 200 grants annually. He also served as Vice Chancellor for Academic Development for 10 years at UCLA, where he was also an English professor. During the 1990s, he was chair of the Cesar Chavez Center at UCLA and assistant to the president of the University of, Texas of California system on outreach efforts to improve access to higher education for students from education disadvantaged communities. Dr. Paredes has written essays, consulted on films, edited journals, and co-edited books, including the well-known Mexican-American Authors, one of the first high school textbooks of its kind. I'm proud to say that I was at UT Austin with Dr. Paredes, Raymond Paredes. He then went on to, um, he went on to Vietnam, University of California, Sandy, uh, University of Southern California, and then back to University of Texas. I'm also proud to say that when I was at UCLA, he was on my dissertation committee, and later we co-edited the book together. Nonetheless, he is a commissioner of our education, and he's still one of my bosses. I might say he's a fair boss. He's an El Paso native who served two years in the military, including 14-month tour in Vietnam. And as I noted, he has a bachelor's degree in English and a doctorate degree in American Civilization, both from UT Austin, and he earned his um, master's at USC. I might add that he, uh, while he earned that degree at USC, he will be pulling for the Longhorns when they meet at the Rose Bowl. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's help welcome Dr. Raymond Paredes. Good morning. I would uh, like to add my congratulations uh, to those of uh, President Romo, uh, not only to all the uh, graduates this morning, but also to all uh, the, the family members and other loved ones who have uh, made this uh, happy occasion uh, possible. When I was invited to uh, speak this morning uh, to uh, the graduates, I uh, happily accepted because I knew that uh, this would be a commencement uh, for uh, young people, uh, most of whom would, uh, in one way or another, become educators. And I wanted to come this morning to uh, tell you about a campaign we have going on here in Texas, and I wanted to enlist your participation. Some of you may know that we have an initiative in Texas called Closing the Gaps. Closing the Gaps was adopted uh, by the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board in the year 2000. It was supported by the legislature, by the governor, and uh, we've been working on it now for about five years, and we have to achieve its goals by the year 2015. Closing the Gaps is one of the most ambitious, some might say audacious, initiatives in the history of American higher education. And I'm here this morning to ask all of you that are graduating and asking other educators in the audience to help us achieve the goals of Closing the Gaps. Closing the Gaps has four goals. And I'll go over three very briefly and focus on the fourth because that's the one that we need the most help with. Closing the Gaps has one goal related to research. We want our universities and colleges in Texas to receive a larger share of federal research support. We're doing okay, but we're not doing nearly as well as we should, particularly in relation to states like California. Our second goal has to do with improving the quality of our higher educational institutions. UT San Antonio, for example, has set for itself the ambitious goal of becoming a premier research university. And under the leadership of President Romo and the faculty that are present here uh, this morning and the administrators, uh, UTSA is well on its way to achieving that goal. 
Other institutions have uh, different sets of goals to dramatically improve undergraduate education, to develop critical uh, master's programs and professional fields in communities around the state where they're most needed. We have a third goal related to academic success of our students. We want more of our students to graduate at higher rates, and we want our students to graduate more quickly. The fourth goal of closing the gaps is the one that's most ambitious, and it's the one that we need the most help with. Our goal is to increase the number of students going to college in Texas by over 600,000 students by the year 2015. We want to enroll more than 600,000 students in our two-year and four-year colleges and universities by the year 2015. We set that goal because that is the number that it will take for Texas to reach parity with states around the country in terms of the percentage of its residents that go to college. Texas is at the bottom in the lowest four states and the percentage of its population over 25 that has achieved a high school diploma and is close to the bottom in the percentage of its population over 25 once again that has received a college degree. Now let me tell you why achieving this goal is important. It's important because if we don't significantly increase the number of college graduates in Texas, the economy and the quality of life in this state are going down. And not going down slightly, going down dramatically. We've estimated that if we reach our goals for higher education achievement in Texas, the economic implications will be in the range of $80 billion. $80 billion in income generated, tax revenues, business activity, and so forth. Without achieving our goals, Texas is going to fall farther and farther behind the most economically competitive states. Now, in order to achieve our goal of closing the gaps, we're going to have to do things in Texas we've never done before. We're going to have to have stronger partnerships among business, the education community, faith-based communities, community-based organizations, all working together to improve educational attainment in Texas. We want to improve educational attainment in Texas, not only for, edu for economic reasons, but for quality of life reasons as well. Let me give you some basic data to show you how important this goal is. We know, for example, that college graduates not only generate a lot more income, they do have a lot of things that are important for the way everybody lives. We know that college graduates, for example, are healthier than people who didn't go to college. They typically exercise more, they watch their diets more closely, they know more about nutrition, and consequently, if you raise the percentage of people in your population that have graduated from college, you lower health costs. We know that college graduates vote at much higher levels than non-college graduates do. We know that college graduates patronize the arts, go to museums, buy tickets to the symphony, buy works of art at rates much higher than non-college graduates. We know that college graduates have lower divorce rates than people who don't graduate from college. So it's not just a matter of economic development, it's a matter of improving the quality of life for everybody in Texas. In order to achieve this goal of six, over 600,000 new students in higher education, we're going to have to create partnerships and do things that we've never done before. We are going to have to look at education systematically. We're going to have to address issues in an integrated fashion throughout the educational pipeline. We're going to have to work with health services, with physicians, and give parents instructions about how to provide intellectual development for their children as soon as they go home from the maternity ward. 
I read a study in the New York Times this summer that showed that children that come from poor families, by the time they are four years old, have heard 30 million fewer words than children from professional families. And that's simply an indication of the fact that we're beginning to understand better and better than ever before. The children in this country fall behind educationally very early and they stay behind. So we're going to have to start working as early as possible to help parents provide an intellectually rich environment for their children. We're going to have to recognize much more closely than we ever did before the children who aren't healthy don't learn as well as children who are. Children that are hungry don't learn as well as children who are not. Children who come from families that are not financially stable and secure don't learn as well as children who do. So we're going to have to look at educational issues in a context, in a social, economic, and cultural context in a way that we've never done before. We're going to need to create more cooperation between higher education and the K-12 sector. We need faculty in colleges and universities to work with their colleagues in high schools and middle schools and elementary schools to get children more ready to go to college. One of our goals in Texas is to create a college-going culture in every school in Texas, elementary, middle, and high school. We want to get to the point where going to college is not merely an aspiration, not merely a possibility, but an expectation. In addition to creating a college-going culture in every school in Texas so that every family and every child knows that that is something that they should plan for, we want to do a couple of other things right away to improve the, the likelihood that young people will go to college. One of the things that we want to do, and this is another area in which we need cooperation between higher education and K-12 education, we need to improve the rigor of the senior year in high school. A lot of students in Texas take the senior year off. We can use the senior year in high school for those students that are performing at a high level to get them to take more dual credit courses, more advanced placement courses so that they'll have college credit, uh, credits when they graduate from high school and they'll be able to graduate college more quickly. Because with 630,000 more students coming into higher education, we need to free up spaces as quickly as possible. For the young people that are not performing at a college-ready level, we can use a senior year in high school to get them better prepared to go to college. We can do developmental education. We can do remediation that's much more difficult to engage once young people arrive on a college campus. We need to finally align the standards for leaving high school with standards for being college ready. We have a lot of parents, a lot of young people that complain, well, my son, my daughter was an A student in high school and suddenly is making B's and C's in college. Why is there that gap between performance in high school and expectations in college? We need to close that gap and make sure that everybody understands what it means to be truly college ready. If you look at the demographics of Texas, you'll see that a very large percentage of those 630,000 new students that are going to college in Texas will be Hispanic. 70-80% of them will be. And one of the reasons that I was so eager to come and talk to you this morning was because this institution is a leader in educating Hispanic and training Hispanic educators and training people to work in the Hispanic community. How we do in terms of raising Hispanic educational attainment in Texas is going to determine the future of the state. That's a simple 
that's not a subjective comment. That's not a value judgment. That's a demographic reality. And doing a much better job of educating the Hispanic community is in everybody's best interest. Anyway, we've got 10 years to meet our goal, and we're going to need all the help that we can get. We've got people in this audience and this graduating class who will become teachers. We've got people in this graduating class who will work in other areas of education, will work as counselors, will work as principals, will work as child psychologists. We need all of you to commit yourselves to the goals of closing the gap and build a better future for all the people of Texas and for generations to come. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Paredes. Today's ceremony honors first those graduates who have completed the requirements for the doctoral degree in their respective fields. Dean Flanagan will certify the doctoral degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development. Will the doctoral degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development please rise and remain standing? President Romo, it is a privilege to present these candidates for the degree of Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership or the Doctor of Philosophy in Culture, Literacy, and Language. The graduate faculty of the College of Education and Human Development has recommended the ones who stand before you who have completed all degree requirements receive their respective degrees. Will the doctoral degree candidates from the College of Education and Human Development please remain standing? President Romo will confer the doctoral degrees. Well, first of all, what a great accomplishment. By virtue, let's give him a hand. <laughs> now the formal talk. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto, and I offer my sincere congratulations. Let's give another hand. Will the doctoral candidates from the College of Education and Human Development please come forward to be invested with the hood and to receive congratulations from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. Investing the hood in this, of this uh, graduate uh, major, is, will be the graduate's major professor, Dr. Raymond V. Padilla, College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Degrees, Kimberly Stinson Barker. <laughs> Investing the hood in this graduate's, is this graduate's major professor, Betty M. Merchant, Judith Cass again, Fowles. <laughs> Investing the hood is this graduate's major professor, Paige A. Smith. Carl Stephen Scarborough.
Investing the Hood is his graduate's major professor, Paige A. Smith. Jerry Wayne Woods. <laughs> Excuse me. The in faculty investing the hood is Dr. Alan R. Soho. Investing the Hood is this graduate's major professor, Juliet L. Langham, Langman, and Professor Emeritus Carolyn L. Kessler, Holly Harbor Hansen Thomas. Next, we honor those graduates who have completed the requirements for the master's degree in their respective fields. Dean Flanagan will certify the master's degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development. Will the master's degree candidates at the College of Education and Human Development please rise and remain standing? President Romo, it is a privilege to present candidates for the Master of Arts in Adult and Higher Education, the Master of Arts in Bicultural Bilingual Studies, the Master of Arts in Counseling, and the Master of Arts in Education. Those who stand before you who have completed all academic requirements have been recommended by the graduate faculty of the College of Education and Human Development to receive their respective degrees. Will the master's degree candidates from the College of Education and Human Development remain standing? President Romo will confer the master's degrees. By virtue of the authority vested by law on the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended with the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And not only do I offer my sincere congratulations, but I hope that some of you will be back for a PhD in a few years. Let's give him a hand. Will the graduates please be seated? To ensure that the graduates' names can be heard clearly as each crosses the stage, we ask that the audience refrain from the use of air horns, fog horns, and other noise makers. We appreciate your courtesy and consideration for all of our graduates and their families. To recognize the bond that exists between faculty and students, professors from the college will have the honor of investing the hood appropriate to the degree earned to each of the master's degree recipients in a symbolic ritual of investiture. Will the faculty performing the hooding ceremony for the College of Education and Human Development please take their places in the designated area? And now, will graduates receiving master's degrees from the College of Education and Human Development please come forward to be invested with a hood and to receive congratulations from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. The faculty investing the hood from the College of Education and Human Development are Dr. Bruce G. Barnett, Dr. Blanche A. DeJean Perrotta, Dr. Cynthia D. Dubois, Dr. Lucila Eck, Dr. Encarnacion Garza Hijo, Dr. Larry B. Golden, Dr. Jose Macias, Dr. Marina L. Reyes, Dr. David P. Thompson, Dr. Tiffany Thompson, Dr. Wayne E. Wright, Dr. Juan X. Yao.
College of Education and Human Development Master's Degrees, Waleska Agosto Feliciano. Tracy Linan An Anguinaga. Erica Preciado Bacon. Rosa Maria Banda. Luis Flores Barcenes Hijo. Jennifer Lynn Beach. Veronica Benavides. Kristen Ann Benet. Veronica Dion Betancourt. Linda Louise Blanton. Sandra Renee Blocker. Brenda Luna Borrego. Diane Brewer. Allison Marie Briones. June Merlene Bing. Mary M. Kaylee Bruce. Beatriz Adriana Campos. Velma Ramirez Campos. Cynthia Maria Cárdenas. Sherry Lynn Renee Carlisle. Brenda Cristal Carrizales. Joan Estelle Carter. Dana Marcia Carter Boyd. Vanessa E. Castañeda Lamas. Cynthia Cecilia Conchas. Leslie Denise Copeland. Karen Corona. Lupita Nora Cortez Gion Brown. Ted D. DeAngelo. Kristen Marie Diciana. Alonso Martiz Flowers. Becky Lynn Frith. Edward Gaitan. Julia Garcia. Maria Sara Garcia. Vanessa Adame Garcia. Raquel Medina Garcia. Candice Rose Garcia Gion Collins. Pauline May Garza. Maria Luisa Gauna. Ada Gomez. Sonia Gonzalez. Sandra E. Perez Gonzalez. Nicole Marie Guzman. Sherry Lynn Head. John Charles Heath. And Jennifer Hester. Nina Nicolaides Hill. Tracy Leanne Holmes. Barbara Ann Hooper. Mirta Ramirez Iracheta. Lorena Soledad Hasso. Delisa Renee Ketchum.
Elizabeth Ann Niffin. Celeste Lia Lafuente Gion Garza. William Warren Landrum III. Lisette Carolina Lial Gion Vasquez. Deborah Michelle Lee. Patrick Anthony Lopez. Thermir Love. Joel James Luther. Danielle Hazelwood Mason. Justine Aline Mayfield Gonzalez. Aaron Nicole McDonald. Dwight Henry McCaslett Jr. Carolyn Evangelista Luna. Shelba Lynn McGinnis. Erica Marie Medina. Patricia J. Menchaca. Cody R. Miller. Rachel E. Miranda. Elisa Sonja Morales. Patricia Merlos. Maria de la Luz Moya Cavazos. Brandon Lee Murray. Jane Abigail Degamo Nolasco. Herbert Linwood Moore. Susan K. Nunez. Gloria Elaine Ortiz. Veronica Marie Ortiz. Jessie Mae Parsons. Oliva, Olivia Patnaud. Wilma G. Payne. Benita J. Perez. Elizabeth Ann Pierce. Bonnie B. Poleski. Poleski. Joe Don Proctor. Jennifer B. Rodriguez. Marisa Lee Rodriguez. Sheena Danette Rogers. Stephanie Brooke Ryder. Yvette Sanders. Cynthia Ann Scott. Stephen Odipo Sia. Mandy J. A. Simmons. Sylvia Maricela Sotelo. Maria Magdalena, Spain. Susan Elizabeth Stokes. Carla Jean Sufern. Shadwara Suwanami. Lisa Ann Talcott. Daphne Ann Terrell. Elizabeth Thomas. Betty Jean Trevino. Deborah Jimena Uria. 
Jennifer Uriegas, Suzette Yvette Vallejo, Angie M. Vasquez, Diana Elizabeth Gutierrez, Isela Isabel Vélez, Kenneth Eugene Vogel, Michelle Lee Watson, Lucy Marie Withers, The Hooding faculty from the College of Education and Human Development may now be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your assistance. Dean Merchant will certify the baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development please rise and remain standing. President Romo, upon recommendation of the Faculty of the College of Education and Human Development, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, are entitled to receive their degrees. Will the baccalaureate degree candidates in the College of Education and Human Development please remain standing? President Romo will confer the baccalaureate degrees. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended, with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And I join everyone in this audience to offer a sincere congratulations. Let's give them a hand. Please be seated. Crossing the stage first to receive their diplomas will be the summa cum laude graduates, followed by the magna cum laude graduates, and in turn followed by the cum laude graduates. These honor graduates wear the gold cord to recognize the excellence each has demonstrated in her or his academic pursuits. Faculty members representing their college and their department colleagues will congratulate the baccalaureate students. Will these representatives for the College of Education and Human Development please take their places in the designated area? Will all graduates of the College of Education and Human Development please come forward to receive your diplomas and to be congratulated by Dean Merchant and President Romo? The faculty congratulating baccalaureate students from the College of Education and Human Development are Dr. Harriet Romo, Dr. B Roberta Bayer, Dr. P. Swan C., Dr. Maria Kaler, Dr. Maricela Oliva, Dr. P. Elizabeth Pate, Dr. Misty W. Sailors, and Dr. Melissa A. Walchak. And I am proud to say that Dr. Walchak was my first graduate student at the old Koger Center in Borderlands history. College of Education and Human Development Baccalaureate degrees. Diane Michelle Bin.
College of Education and Human Development Baccalaureate degree, summa cum laude, Janet Louise Atkins. <laughs> Stephanie Lynn Blue, summa cum laude. Cristal Bruno, summa cum laude. Sandra Lee Ingram, summa cum laude. Diane Lopez Hion Coupleman, summa cum laude. Scott Andrew Mann, summa cum laude. Ashley Eichholz Moore, summa cum laude. Mary McKinney Ray, summa cum laude. Tishna Kit Sarkoff, summa cum laude. Ann M. Taylor, summa cum laude. Irma Cecilia Villalobos, summa cum laude. College of Education and Human Development, baccalaureate degrees, magna cum laude. Lauren Nicole Belzum. Michelle Lee Khan, magna cum laude. Khan Lin, excuse me. Roxanne Patterson Dominguez, magna cum laude. Susana Duran, magna cum laude. Alejandra Fuentes Esparza, magna cum laude. Alma Rosa Gallegos, magna cum laude. Bridget Kathleen Garman, magna cum laude. Irma Galvan Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Connie Lynn Horaci, magna cum laude. Renee Marjorie Caralois, magna cum laude. Melissa Ann Lowry, magna cum laude. Jennifer Lynn McDonald, magna cum laude. Kristen Jean McIntyre, magna cum laude. Christine Ramirez, magna cum laude. O'Brien Ramirez, magna cum laude. Roberto Ramon, magna cum laude. Michael James Shaw, magna cum laude. Laura Cabrera Sheffield. Jennifer Ann Smith, magna cum laude. Naomi de la Cruz Valadez, magna cum laude. Christy Ann Wetzel, magna cum laude. College of Education and Human Development, baccalaureate degrees, cum laude. Kristen Lee Balderrama. Lizette Ballesteros, cum laude. Lillian Blanca Bazan, cum laude. Angela Dawn Brown, cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Burns, cum laude. Isenia Castillo, cum laude. Richard Robert Castro, cum laude. Diana, Diana Patricia Cifuentes Delgado, cum laude. Aurora Guerra Estrada, cum laude. Stacy Dawn Gambuti, cum laude. Daisy Lizette Gaitan, cum laude. Lydia Montsevais Guerra, cum laude. Brenda Yanet Guerrero, cum laude. Jessica Jean Hoyt, cum laude. Carol Marie Hudson, cum laude. Rebecca S. Huerta, cum laude. Christina Lydia Neifer, cum laude. 
Alma Nelly Yamas Yanas Cum Laude. Judith Lopez Cum Laude. Rebecca J. Novak Cum Laude. Delia Nunez Cum Laude. Sarah Rapp Cum Laude. Jean Gamboa Russell Cum Laude. Katrina Dawn Rios. Heather Marie Rogers, cum laude. Vanessa Saavedra Rabasa, cum laude. Melissa Ann Shadrock, cum laude. Marta Patricia Toledo, cum laude. Ana Maria Treviño Gion Garcia, cum laude. Lynn Q2, cum laude. Graciela Elizabeth Villarreal, cum laude. Jennifer Diane Wallace, cum laude. Kelly Christian Wayman, cum laude. Lauren D. Weeks, cum laude. Belinda Marie White, cum laude. Joanna F. Warden, cum laude. College of Education and Human Development Baccalaureate Degrees, Patsy Acosta. Roxanne Aguilar Gion Reese. Melissa Ann Alarcón. Jesus Alvarado. Maria Isabel Andrade. George Arredondo, Jr. Christy, Christy Lynn Balsam. Christopher Michael Barfoot. Aaron Y. Bell. Arlinda Benavides. Courtney Athena Burquist. Brian Lee Blackburn. Jennifer Nicole Bohannon. Armando Borrego. Jennifer Therese Bosques. Randy Michelle Boyd. Isa Bruni. April Marie Burson. <laughs> Teresa Elaine Buster Hyun Salinas. Brandis Nicole Cantu. Virginia Cantu. Victor Cárdenas. Marisa Annette Cardosa. Margaret Louise Carey. Jessica Marie Carrillo. Jennifer Lynn Carroll. David Anthony Castillo. Nadia L. Castillo. Pablo Chavez El Tercero. Cecilia Gay Collins. Jesus Jose Perez Contreras. Jeanette Gomez Conway. Katie Denise Crockett. George E. De Caus, Dan Caus. Angela Maria Davila. Leah Carol De Los Santos. Cara Denise Dean. Grace Escamilla De Leon. Charnel 
the Masters. Abigail Terra Deros. Avery Mark Dojing. Diego Alejandro Duran. Valerie Eileen Duran. Olivia Marie Duco. Mary Elizabeth Encarnacion. Veronica Encino. Raquel Marie Falcon. Cristina Angela Farias. Amanda Louise Field. Christopher Flores. Tiffany Kristen Foley. Savannah Joe Foster. Julia Ann Fox. Jamie Michelle Garcia. Laura Margarita Garcia. Maribela Garcia. Marisa Angelica Garcia. Lauren Eileen Gaylord. Felicia Ann Gomez. Norma Rosemary Gonzalez. Veronica J. Gonzalez. Gabriela Gonzalez. Ivan Valle Gonzalez. Dreasar Granado. Vicky Lee Grona. Jenny Noel Noel Guadiano. Maria Eugenia Guerra. Amber Dawn Gully. Becky Gutierrez. Linda Baird Hansen. Christopher Wayne Gonzalez. Stacy Marie Harris. Megan Michelle Hernandez. Manuel Eric Herrera. Brandon Michael Hoff. Crystal Ann Hoffner. Robin Lynn Horner. Crystal Gail Hughes. Christopher Brian Hines. Claudia Marie Ibanez. Shana Christine Eats Rodriguez. Lavonica K. Jackson. Safon Cantaroth. Christine Marie Leonard. Lauren Lofgren. Jessica Marlene Mansfield. Suzanne Marchiore. Beverly Martinez Montalvo. Robin Michelle Maiti. Kelly Nicole Maxwell. Denisha E. I. McDonald. Veronica Jean Medellin. Janet Mendiola. Courtney Alice Maxell. 
Audrey Eileen Miorelli. Daisy Christine Molina. Jennifer Diane Molinar. Michelle Marie Montañez. Myra Moreno. Patrick Kevin Morgan. Javier Navarro, Jr. Todd Edward Nelson. Kerry Austin Norris. Diane Obaya. Veronica Ochoa. Misty Michelle Ox. Vanessa Monica Sanchez Olvera. John Lewis Park III. Celeste Parra. Donna Michelle Pastrano. Christine Denise Pavelka. Maria Guadalupe Peña. Anthony Racho Pepito. Marie Potapolka. Elias G. Portillo. Catherine L. Potter. Deborah S. Putz. Etelvina U. Ramirez. Michael E. Ramirez. Ona Rangel. Cristina Resendez. Teresa Hewitt Roussel. Diana Sitlali Reyes. Robert C. Rocha. Elena Michelle Rodriguez. Erica Lisa Rosales. Robert Rosas. Nicole Ivan Russell. Joanne Reyes Basaldua Ryan. Lisa Marie Salas. Andrea Lauret Salinas. Corinne E. Sanchez. Jose Angel Sanchez. Amber Rena Saunders. Anna Marie Schurman. Aaron Wade Semper. Latoya S. Shockley. Christopher Eric Smith. Richard Paul Smith. Cynthia Snyder. Lilia Ann Solis. Charity Elizabeth Sosa. Angelica Spears. Jennifer Chow Stevenson. Amanda Marie Torres. Jennifer Marie Town. Rose Mary Trejo. Jimmy Trevino. 
John Christopher Trevino, Selena Rios Valdez, Selena Rios Valdez, Rebecca K. Valencia, Claudia Andrea Villa Gomez, Maricela Patricia Arce Tion Vergara. Brooke Vance Williams, Pamela Charisse Williams, oh, Shalesta, Shalesta I. Wilson, Cassandra Amy Young, Alan Zamora. Melissa Marie Zirkel. And College of Liberal and Fine Arts Baccalaureate degrees, Rosemary Quiroz Quion Carvajal Donaldson. The congratulating faculty representatives from the College of Education and Human Development may return to your seats. Thank you very much, ladies and one gentleman. To signify a rite of passage and graduation from the University of Texas at San Antonio, Will the graduates please shift the tassel on your mortarboard to the left side and congratulations. For those of you who have purchased a UTSA ring, now is the time to take it off and turn it around, having the insignia face outwardly to the rest of the world to show that you are now a proud alumna or alumnus of UTSA, and congratulations. I wish to exercise brief personal privilege to recognize the contributions to this ceremony by Dr. Patricia Ann Graham and Dr. Robert J. Rustowitz and his students who provided the music, and to the student ambassadors who assisted me, Vanessa Amador and Elaine Daniel. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. I now ask you to stand and join soprano Dianita Diaz as she leads us in singing the UTSA Alma Mater. Please be seated. 
We ask that all guests please remain seated until the graduates leave the Convocation Center. The UTSA Mariachi Los Paisanos will perform the recessional music. We ask all guests to exit through the north foyer that is directly behind me. Will the university marshal take up the mace and the faculty marshal retrieve the college banner and lead the graduates in the recessional? This signifies the conclusion of the UTSA's University's College of Education and Human Development December 2005 commencement ceremonies. Thank you for coming to our celebration. Muchas gracias y muy buenas tardes.
dime quién te bautizó, quién te puso, si guateco para que te cante yo. Si guateco de mi vida, dime quién te bautizó, quién te puso, si guateco para que te cante yo. Ay, sí, ay, no, no.